Hi and welcome to 3dmotive.com. In this tips and tricks tutorial we're going to go through Keyshot rendering and how I prepare my objects before bringing them into Keyshot. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and look at is how Keyshot treats these objects inside of Maya scene when we import them in. So let's go ahead and go to Keyshot and then go to File Import and then go and select our scene that we just prepared and it's just a couple of primitives. I've got to leave everything as it is and then click on import. Okay, so as you can see, Keyshot is a real-time renderer. And as you can see, every time I rotate, it will go ahead and render our objects a little bit more. So the more I let it go, the more details it will go ahead and render. So as you can see, this is our um, basic scene with our couple of objects in there. Let's go ahead and try to add some shaders to these. So go to library. And when your Keyshot library opens up, as you can see, there are tons of materials in here that you can go ahead and use. So let's just go ahead and pick a paint. And let's go ahead and click and drag this onto our object. Now, as you can see, it will go ahead and apply it to all our objects inside the scene. And I only want to apply one shader for each um, object. So let's go ahead and go to our project window. And then here, as you can see, you can see all your objects that are inside your scene and at the moment as you can see I will go ahead and apply the material to all of these objects and that's because they are linked together so what we can go ahead and do is we can go ahead and select our scene file which is this and go ahead and click on unlink materials now we can go ahead and drag a different shader for each object so I can go ahead and prick any shader and go ahead and drag them on, onto each object and this works fine when you only have a couple of objects now if you think about having a complicated object with thousands of different pieces this might take a while and wouldn't be very efficient so let's go back inside Maya and see how I normally prepare my scenes before bringing them into Keyshot so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and there are mainly two ways the way I normally prepare them the first one is we can go ahead and group the objects together by type so let's see all these cylinders would be I don't know the black metallic parts of my object now I can go ahead and select all of these objects group them together and name them black metallic the other way of um, separating your objects inside Maya is you can go to your uh, rendering editor so you can go to hypershade Okay, and once you're inside Hypershade, you can go ahead and set up some simple shaders. So by clicking on a Lambert and then changing the color, okay, the color doesn't really matter. And once you have that, you can go ahead and select your object. So let's see, I want all my cylinders. So I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this. I want all my cylinders which are black metallic. I'm just going to go ahead and give that a different shader. And now I want all my spheres to be red and paint effect color. So I can go ahead and select all of these guys and then just give it a different shader. So again, the color and material doesn't matter as long as they're different shaders. And I want all these guys to be, I don't know, a different color. So I apply a different shader to them. Now we can go ahead and actually use this uh, if I only want to select faces as well. So I can go ahead and select this loop, for example. So I only want to, I want this bit of this object to be a different color. I can go ahead and again, create a new Lambert for it. Okay, and just change the color. So that's going to be pink. And again, let's go ahead and select some faces. Okay, go back to my hyper shade, apply the shader to it. Okay. So once I set up everything in my scene, so all the objects got their shaders or their groups, it depends the way you want to do them. Now I can go ahead and save my scene, go back inside Keyshot, and let's go ahead and create a new scene and import them in. Okay. And again, I'll leave everything as default. And now I can go ahead and play around with these objects. 
Now you can see that the Lambda shows up on these objects, but it really doesn't matter because we're going to go ahead and drag a new shader on them. But this is a good way of separating your objects because now I can go ahead and let's say this is blue, so I want a blue paint. Okay, so now I go to my Keyshot library, select the shader that I want, and I can easily just click and drag them on. I don't have to go through all the separation inside my project window, so I can completely ignore that. Let's go ahead and pick a red paint for this guy. Okay, and I can let's pick this material that looks pretty cool. Okay, and as you can see, we can go ahead and drag on a different uh, material for faces as well, so it doesn't have to be each different object. Let's go ahead and pick material for this guy and this guy, and because these had the same shader or um, shader inside Maya, there's a reason why it will go ahead and apply these shaders to them. So now that we uh, went through how to apply shaders and so on, let's go through a bit more inside Keyshot and how we can make things look better. So the first thing that you might want to look into uh, after you looked into all the different type of shaders inside Keyshot, you notice that we do have an environment tab and this is really useful because you can go ahead and import in HDRs and there are also um, default HDRs that you can use. So let's see when we go inside the interior tab, as you can see there are default HDRs that we can just click and drag in and it will go ahead and set your object in this environment. So let's go ahead and minimize this. Okay, you can move each object as well. So I can go to right click and then move model. So I can go ahead and move the whole scene or I can go to um, right click and then go to move part. So I can go ahead and move each object as well. So once you have that, you can go to your project window and inside that the environment tab, you can go and change the contrast, the brightness, Okay, so if it's too bright, the environment is too bright. You can also use the up and down keys on your keyboard to go ahead and make your scene lighter or darker. You can also go ahead and change the rotation, which I find very useful once I have the camera set up in the right place. So let's say I want to go ahead and look at this object. And now I zoom right in. So I only care about this. Okay, then, and I got the camera angle right and everything, I can just go ahead and rotate the environment around to change the light or change the angle of which the shadows are and so on. Also, once you like the lighting and the environment and everything, you don't actually have to use this back plate. You can go ahead and change the background to be a color, for example. So I can go ahead and pick a nice dark blackish color. Okay, and once I have that, I can also go ahead and turn on ground reflections. Okay, and we got a nice uh, environment set up with nice realistic lighting but a different background. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. And thanks for watching 3dmotive.com.